today would like to say thank you to HGF Plate Heat Exchangers uh, for sponsoring this, uh, this heat exchanger. This is the most important part of the oil conversion system so that the truck can actually run off oil and diesel. The system on the truck has three tanks, so this being the diesel tank, first oil tank. The oil goes in here, um, it goes through a little filtration system that's easily replaceable over there. From those filters into this tank, from there it goes into the lines, um, it follows through on the chassis here. Then it ends up going to a little tank that we connected to the exhaust. The tank's job is to heat up the oil um, using the exhaust gases. It's from there into the cab, onto these little taps, one being oil and one being diesel. You want to heat up on the, on the diesel and then as soon as you've done that, which takes about five minutes, um, you swap over to the oil. Then it can actually pass through the filters and into the injectors. From there, It'll come straight through from the cab into the filters. From the filters, it'll run back towards the heat exchanger, which will be over there. So the heat exchanger in turn just heats up the oil, connecting the, the engine coolant on these lines here. So in and out, um, I'll cut these flanges off, get the oil to run through on this side. The engine coolant then heats up the oil, the oil passes through on the other side, um, and then it goes into the injectors.
struggle than what I thought it would be, but it's in. Um, I picked up the heat exchanger. It, what we did was um, we got these these welded up um, so that the fuel lines could connect with the heat exchanger at a, at a Y split. The coolant fluent goes in there, also goes in there. Um, it goes through the system or through the plates, uh, heating up the oil on the inside and the outlets on this side. So it'll come back together out that side, out this side and uh, go back to the radiator. We'll have the same fitting on the bottom. The waste oil will go in there, going up through the plates uh, once it's heated, come out the other side. The temperature gauge will show us um, exactly what temperature the oil's at so that it runs, runs fine on the motor. And then obviously that's the outlet going out. The outgoing port from the filters, at the moment it's going into the injectors. We want to heat it up another stage and then also install a water trap um, just to make extra sure there's no water in the system. This line of here is the diesel return line. The diesel that doesn't get used by the engine gets sent back to the to the tank. At the moment, um, we don't have um, separate lines for the oil and for the diesel. So when we're running on oil, the oil is going to be returning to the diesel tank. Um, so we're going to put a split in there. This switch is what I'll use for the for the diesel return line. So how it works basically is that. The diesel or the, the, the oil that's being returned will go in there. I'll we'll swap over between the two. If we're running on diesel, I'll swap it over so that it comes out that side. If we're running on oil, we'll return and run on this side. So there's not a lot of space to install it uh, in the cab. So what I was thinking is I'm actually going through the floor up there. Um, once I swap over to Diesel, I'll turn it. So you sold it as a walker, singing the songs and the words that have been spoken. Put your mind at ease with this melody. Love don't cost you nothing, so set your love and free. So you want it, it's been shaking, your heart it has been breaking. House with more can I do, but the answer's deep inside you. So look and you shall find.
So we're back today, well I'm back today, put the tanks up, also wire the heat exchanger to the temperature gauge inside the cab so we can check the temperature of the oil. So things don't always work out as you plan them. This line needs to connect over there. Our problem at the moment is this bolt for it to come all the way in. This is a temperature sensor. We got the first one over on this heat exchanger here. The second one is at the front of this heat exchanger. Both of them measure the temperature of the oil. The first being um, with the first heat exchanger and the second with the second pass uh, on the second heat exchanger. So I'm actually thinking of putting one, one in there and one in there. Uh, that means I'll have to run the wire down into the engine bay to the chassis um, and down to the heat exchanger. I brought a little rotary tool today that'll help me cut some, some holes in there as the, the circular saw didn't work well um, as it kept sliding off to the side um, it doesn't go straight through Just like me, and that's all. 